Hi guys, it's Amber and today there are so many things that I want to share with you guys. The first couple of products are from a Taiwanese brand called UNT and they just came out with a bunch of uh, foundation and face cosmetics so I will be doing a tutorial and review on that and the second set of products is from the Japanese brand Visei and um, it's their fall 2013 cosmetics collection and I got the eyeshadow and the blush the gloss and lipstick so I will be doing a makeup look using all the products that I just mentioned. So I will get started with the tutorial and review today. I've already prepped my skin for makeup, so I will start off with the UNT products. So the first product that I bought is the UNT Color Mineral Lux BB Foundation. And it looks like this. And it says, Sheer Perfection Mineral Corrector with SPF 30 and PA++. And this is how it looks on the inside. I'm just gonna test it out on my hand first. Ooh, it's very watery. It's dripping down already, but you guys can get an idea of the shade, I think this shade is suitable for most Asian skin, I think. I forgot to mention, I bought their brushes as well. Their foundation brush and their loose powder brush. It feels really great. Just, just brushing it on the back of my hand, like the hairs are very, very soft. I just finished applying the BB foundation on my skin and I gotta say, I am extremely pleased with this product. Um, it's not dry, it's super moisturizing and sits very nicely on the skin and even though it's very lightweight, it still provides a decent amount of coverage. Obviously, I need to uh, cover up the flaws later with a um, con uh, concealer but just based on the foundation alone, the coverage is definitely decent, I think. and. Yeah, like I'm really happy with this product. I really like how this foundation looks on my skin. So I just finished uh, covering up any flaws with my concealer. And now I'm going to move on to the powder compact and loose powder. If you want to go for a more natural look, you can just go ahead and just apply this loose powder right here. It's called the Mineral Lux Pure Radiance Precious Mineral Loose Powder with SPF 50. How it looks on the inside comes with the puff too. Powder compact is called Perfect Match and Stay Mineral Compact Powder, and the box just looks like this, and inside looks like this. It's got the word UNT on the top and a sponge on the bottom. I'm gonna apply the compact, then the loose powder. And I'm using the lightest shade. And this is how the powder looks on my finger. Even though I'm going to apply the compact powder first, then the loose powder, but instead of applying it all over my face, I am only going to apply this on areas that um, have more redness and more floss to cover up. So like on the edge of my nose and stuff. And this this trick that I want to teach you guys is it's always it's better like when you're applying compact powder and loose powder, do not sweep across your face, but gently stamp on your skin. That way you do not ruin any um, concealer that you just applied and doing this, this will really give you that flawless skin that every girl wants. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stamp it on any areas that require more coverage. So I just finished applying the compact powder 
And I must say, I am also pleased with this product. Um, the powder is really thin and lightweight, and it does not make my skin look really heavy with makeup, but rather it covers all the flaws and provides a nice dewy look. So now I'm going to move on to the loose powder. And the loose powder, I'm just gonna sweep across the areas that I do not go over with the compact powder. So I just finished applying the loose powder and I must say I am pleased with it as well. It's um, again, very lightweight and the powder is very thin and it just um, stays on my skin very nicely and it's very natural and does not look heavy at all. So far, I recommend all three products. I will give them right now a 4.5 4 out of 5 stars right now because I don't know how long it lasts but if it does last, I have to say it's probably one of the best um, face products I've used so far this month or actually for the past couple months other than the Shimmer Light Bulb Foundation that I mentioned multiple times before. Um, so I just finished um, the highlighting and shadowing and my eyebrows and now I'm going to move on to the Visay Fall 2013 collection and the first product that I will be applying is the Blend Color Cheeks and I'm using the shade PK1 and it looks like this so this is how it looks I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys so it's just like a very pretty pink I'm just using all three shades on the top together to create this pink so I'm going to apply it to my cheeks now it also comes with a little brush on the bottom but I prefer using my own Overall, I'm really happy with this blush. I think I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Like, I can't think of any flaw this blush has. I mean, it's perfect. It's lightweight, it looks natural, the color is great, goes on really easily, and it's... And next, I'm going to apply the Glossy Rich Eyes um, Quad Eyeshadow. And it looks like this. Gorgeous packaging again. Very pretty. Super gorgeous color. So I just did the swatch on um, the back of my hand, and this is how it looks. The shine, the sparkles, and the pigmentation are just amazing. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to start applying it to my eyes now. So first, I am going to apply this shade right here all over my eyelids all the way up to my brow bone and bring the same shade down to the inner corners of your eyes then I am going to apply this gold shade right here up to my crease and then I'm going to apply this pink shade right here just a bit below my crease And then apply this um, darkest brown on the top second half of your eyelids and bring it down all the way to the bottom uh, two-thirds of your lower eyelids and that's it for um, the eyeshadow Again, very happy with this product. Um, the pigmentation, um, the fineness of the eyeshadow powder. So easy to apply, it just glides on my eyelids and um, the colors blend very well together and creates like a very nice gradient, um, very soft, natural, light, smoky eyes. So I just finished my eye makeup and now I am going to move on to the lip products and the first one that I got from Vise is the Creamy Lipstick in BE300 and the packaging looks like this very cute as well and it's got like gorgeous engravings on the lipstick I'm just gonna show you guys 
sure if you guys can see, but it's very pretty. It's just like a nude jade. Yeah, it's just like a very um, light nude, uh, kind of beigey kind of color. I just applied the lipstick on my lips and this is how it looks. And I love it. It's just a very natural, gorgeous nude shade and the lipstick does not feel dry at all on my lips. It's actually really moisturizing. Like, even without lip gloss, you can still see the shine. So it's very, very pretty. I really like it. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5 star because it just looks so great and it feels very, very moisturizing on my lips. And the second product that I got is um, lip balm and gloss. And it looks like this. It's kind of unique how it's got the stripes in the middle. Comes out like this, just um, kind of like a dark, well not dark, but like a pinky kind of color. You don't really see the white. <laughs> but yeah, it's just... A light pink shade so I just apply the lip gloss on the lipstick and the color doesn't really change much it just turns a little bit coral I think but it definitely does feel moisturizing and I feel like it did plump up my lips which is great I think next time I want to try how it looks just on my bare lips just because I want to see how the pink shows up on my lips but Today, I think um, just by blending those two together, it looks great already. So yeah, I do recommend these products, um, especially the lipstick. It's very moisturizing, very pigmented, and so easy to put on. This is the look <laughs> that I've created for fall by using the UNT base makeup products that just came out um, earlier this month, as well as the Visse Fall 2013 collection. If you guys are interested in buying any of the products that I used in this video, you could just go to the links that I've listed in the description and just click on it. So that's it for the tutorial and review today and I hope you guys enjoyed it.